Hey everyone, my name is Daniel and today I want to take a look at how you can implement some of your SharePoint Hub ideas into Power Platform Environment Groups. Now, Environment Groups is a very important feature that you need to start considering to enhance your Power Platform governance. However, you don't have to start from scratch. You can take a look at your SharePoint sites and how hubs were designed over there and you could consider leveraging that idea into your Power Platform. It literally could be that simple. Also, I'll show you the design implementation that I did in my own environment. So stick around, this is very important, especially for the Power Platform admins. But first, here's my intro video. So two months ago, I released a video to deep dive on the concept of environment groups and environment routing. And over there, I took the example of these two extreme departments and how they would manage at totally different levels. For example, finance department, when it came to its sharing of its apps, it wanted to keep it with 30 people or less. However, HR was a little strict. They want to only share it with five people. When it comes to data retention, Finance would like to keep it up to 28 days. However, HR wants only keep it at seven days. So you see, thanks to environment groups, you can handle it at this granular level, but in different groups altogether. So that is the beauty of environment groups. I ask you to do two things. First, go watch this video of mine. And second, start implementing that in your own tenant. And one of the things to do is when you're designing how you want to build these environment groups, you don't have to do it from scratch. Use your SharePoint hubs idea. Go talk to the SharePoint team and see, hey, what were the different hubs that you created? Was it based on some example like this at a department level? Well, go get that list and then start implementing that as environment groups in your environment power platform admin center. Because in that case, you can basically replicate, do a wash, rinse and repeat in the power platform site without any problems. So now that you understand what I'm talking about, let me take you over to my tenant, show you my SharePoint hubs, and then how I can go and create that as environment groups in my own tenant. So here in my test tenant, I've accessed the SharePoint Admin Center, and you can see all the SharePoint sites that I have. However, take a look at this hub column. You can see that I've actually got these sites tied to a hub. And hub is what allows us to go ahead and manage these group of sites and put some governance and rules and themes and designs around at that level. It's pretty awesome, neat functionality. Also, if I go and click on this all company, here you see hub, I go and take a look at associate with hub, on the drop down, you can see all of these hubs that I have. And so now I can take any of my existing sites or even new sites that I'm creating and tie them to each of these levels. Now, a lot of thought was put in to create these hubs. And as you can see, in this case, it was done in a different way. Granted, some of them were done at a department level, but there were also scenarios where it could be project level as well. And so a separate hub was created. So you really can see thought process put in and implementation successfully to go ahead and group all of these sites as hubs. So this is the design that I talk about. Go talk to your SharePoint team, see how they went and implemented, what was their thought process. And then now that you have that knowledge, you can go ahead and implement that in your Power Platform Admin Center. So you basically get this list and then you switch over to your Power Platform Admin Center or PPAC, go to your environment groups and start creating all of these groups. So for example, in my SharePoint Admin Center, I had HR, information technology, leadership. I can start creating that over here. I have one right now for HR. So I'll just do that and I'll say, this group is used to govern all environments used by the HR department. Go ahead and click on save. It will go ahead and create our group first. At least the group is created. Next, you can go and add some of the rules to actually govern it. I have put details of that in my other video. Same thing, come back over here, go ahead and create another group. Let's go and see the next one. Information technology was one of it. So let's go and add that one over here as well. Information technology. I'll go and paste the exact same description we had for the HR department, but just change HR to IT department and go and click on save. So that way this work is also done. So you can see now I've actually got two groups over here. 
So I can go back, I, I can go to my existing environments and then go ahead and start putting them into the correct groups so that the governance is put around it. It literally is that simple. Keep in mind that only managed environments can be added in environment groups. So therefore, there is a little bit of cost associated with the user's license in those managed environments. But with the governance that comes along with these managed environments and grouping them, it outweighs the overall cost by leaps and bounds. Therefore, I highly, highly urge you to start considering it. And as always, keep using Power Platform. Hello, hello, hello. So if you like this video, go ahead and click on that subscribe button and smash that like button. Also, if you have a few extra seconds, can you go and put in a comment, either say something nice or give me ideas for my next video. And until then, see ya.